Hey everybody, we're doing a quick walkthrough just to show you how to get your multi-track recording files off of the roadcaster and into a DAW for podcast editing to get your episode assembled. So if you're not familiar, if you're new to the roadcaster, it will package your recording files in what's called a polywave. Um, so I've pulled two recordings off the roadcaster. It was actually from the same session. And you can see it's just listed pod 0004.wave. Um, and it looks to, you know, at first glance, like it's a normal WAV file. It's actually what's called a polywave, which means it's one file with 16 tracks inside of it, which you'll see once we throw this into Logic. So whenever you record on the Roadcaster um, and check the older video for the info on multi-track um, and pre-fader recording, which you definitely want to make sure you enable those settings, um, but it will, it will package these files in a polywave and it will also kind of truncate the um, the files based on how long the recording is and what I mean by that is there's kind of a, a limit for the polywave file size at 3.78 gigs and I believe that's about 28 29 minutes so if your podcast is longer than uh, 28 29 minutes it's going to split them up into multiple files much like a, a camera would for multiple video files if you have a long recording session so once you import these, um, I've just copied these off of the SD card. You can also use podcast transfer mode. I prefer the SD card. I think it's faster, especially with USB-C. Um, once you've copied those over, we're just going to import them into our DAW of choice. So we're using Logic. I'll just open a blank session here. And I'll drag these in one at a time to do the import. So selecting number four first. And it's going to take a second to convert the multi-track audio file into the separated tracks. So while this is converting, just a quick overview. Um, when you record in multi-track on the Roadcaster, you have the stereo uh, track, tracks one and two, which is the output. And then all four mics, the USB channel, the Bluetooth channel, and the sound pad channel, those are all separate tracks that are going to be packaged in the Polywave. Um, it, just a quick note there, Logic asked me to um, convert the sample rate of the project. The Roadcaster records in 48, so make sure that your project is set to 48. Um, it's easier to set the project to 48K as opposed to having to convert all 14 of these files. Uh, just will save you time in the long run. Um, let me up the waveform view so you guys can see what we have going on. And a lot of these are blank. And if you're doing you know, a normal podcast with two or three or four mics, um, that's going to be the case. You are going to see a lot of these as you know being blank. So here are all 14 tracks from the Roadcaster. Drop the Polywave in. It splits these out multi-track for you and just lays them out one at a time. So we'll go through these um, and just kind of explain what each one is. So tracks one and two are your main stereo uh, output. So we got stereo left and stereo right. So for example, if you've mixed on the road itself, you've enabled the compressor settings, reverb EQ, you've done everything you want to do. And while you're recording your show, if it sounds great and all you want is the stereo mix, then this is the first two tracks that you have. So stereo left and stereo right. So that's, that's everything. Anything that you heard while recording, everything that came through the roadcaster, came through the board, is uh, contained in, this, um, in these top two tracks. But chances are, if you're editing your podcast, you want everything raw um, and split out into multi-track so that you can place these on the timeline, edit as needed, add in your ad spots, music, etc. Um, to put the whole episode together. Gives you a lot more customization. So chances are you want to edit these things. So in order, it's going to um, give you all the individual tracks of the Roadcaster. Um, from three all the way down to 14. So these are just going in order left to right on the Roadcaster. So we have channel one. So I'll just say mic one, mic two, mic three, and mic four. These are all mono tracks. So there's one track, uh, excuse me, there's one audio file per track. 
you notice these are stereo and the rest of the files that we have are going to be stereo as well so the first four mics are right here channels three through three through six next we have the usb channel so that's usb left and usb right after that is the phone which is basically the aux input so i'll say aux left and aux right on the roadcaster it is a phone icon there for that uh, six channel but on the back the input is actually just a 3.5 millimeter aux so i usually refer to that as the aux input then we have bluetooth left bluetooth right and then lastly is the sound bank so i'll just say sound effects left and sound effects right so you'll notice that like i said a lot of these are blank you know if you're not doing like a live stream where you have music queued up and sound effects and you have a, somebody calling in um, most of these aren't going to be used so typically when we're doing an edit we'll drop in the roadcaster files and then the first thing that i might do is actually just go ahead and delete um, 7 through 14 because we don't really need them so we got our four mics here and then we have a stereo mix um, so you know if you just need the stereo mix like I said you can go ahead and export those otherwise if you're gonna go in and do this edit you can feel free to delete the stereo mix as well just take your four tracks and then start going through your editing workflow um, I'm gonna bring those back for a second because the other thing we have to talk about is lining these up because this file or this interview is longer um, like I said then about 28 29 minutes so it comes in two files so we also need to drop the second track in here and it's going to split the multi-track file once again and drop those out into another 14 tracks and this is going to seem cumbersome um, but once you build out a workflow for your podcast and depending on the DAW that you're using create a template it becomes easier and easier so you can see here we have another set of 14 tracks in the same orientation um, so as I pull these in first thing I'm gonna do is ditch everything that's blank I'll keep the stereo mix for now so I'm just highlighting all of these blank tracks go ahead and delete those yes I know there are regions there um, let's extend our project endpoint a little bit to give us some more room zoom out and I'll go ahead and drop these four tracks up here and now the quickest thing to get these to line up is actually um, just to go to shuffle mode so we'll change our transport drag mode to shuffle left and just drag those over and they will line up perfectly um, if I zoom in on this uh, edit point here as well you should notice if I zoom in um, there's there's no gap here so they are separate files but there there is no loss in um, there's no loss in the audio there's no gap there's no break they just bump up right against one another so um, it's strictly for file size and file storage there's no there's nothing wrong with the audio when you see a single recording session in multiple tracks that's just the way that it's saved and packaged um, so that's it. Quick overview of the Roadcaster, how the polywaves are um, saved, and how you would import those into your DAW of choice. Any major DAW, Logic, Pro Tools, etc. Um, as soon as you drag and drop the polywave, when you import that, the DAW will recognize it and start splitting up multi-track files. Um, like I said, we use Logic for our editing and our post-production. Um, leave a comment if you have a question about like a particular DAW. Maybe it's Reaper, maybe it's Audacity. There's some that we haven't used before, but we can figure out you know, exactly how the Roadcaster Polywave files interact with that DAW. If you have questions about that, we can try to answer those questions. Um, but like I said, any major DAW should operate essentially the same way. So uh, leave those questions below. Otherwise, we will catch you on the next video. Thanks.